why most people fail at lucid dreaming. All right, so I wanted to talk in this video about why most people fail at lucid dreaming. There's one thing in particular that means it's pretty much the reason why 95% of people just can't lucid dream. Because if they were doing this thing, then they would naturally lucid dream and they'd be having lucid dreams every night. So there is this one particular thing which most people just aren't doing, okay? And that thing is just general self-awareness. Now what I mean by that is awareness of what you're doing throughout the day and being critical of the things you're doing. A huge percentage of people, probably more than 95% actually, just aren't aware of what they're doing. They're in these routines where they just sort of go maybe to work or they go about their daily life relying on these autopilot routines without really thinking and being aware of what they're experiencing. A great example of this is most people can't remember their commutes to work because they're in autopilot. Ask yourself the question, can you honestly remember every part of the journey on your last commute to work? What did you see? What people did you see? You know, what were they wearing? Can you honestly remember every detail of that commute? Uh, for most people, they can't simply because they're just not paying attention. And you know, this critical awareness is much more important than just remembering what people were doing on your commute. It's about being present in the moment and actually experiencing things instead of just being submerged in your thoughts, right? So one of the things I always t tell my students is to get out of your brain and get into your body. So get into the real world as in experience what you're actually doing now. Um, don't just be caught up in your thoughts and internally co conversing with yourself thinking, you know, what am I going to do today at work? And because you miss everything. You miss all of the details around you. You miss all of the experiences that are already happening. And as a result, because you're not aware of these things, then you lose, you lose that self-awareness and you don't lose a dream. This is pretty much why 95% of people fail at lucid dreaming before they've even started. Because lucid dreaming fundamentally is about awareness, it's about realisation. And you can't really have that awareness if you're not, right, aware. I mean, I know it sounds, stupid when I say that. It sounds simple, doesn't it? But if you're not aware of yourself during the day, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing and mentally, you know, focusing on what you're actually doing, what you're saying, where you're going, then of course you're not going to lose a dream because you're not paying attention you're just going to be an autopilot in your dreams, just like you are in waking life. Now, a lot of what we experience in a waking life will translate to the dream. I've said this in other videos, and I'll keep saying it for future videos as well. What you experience in the day will be mirrored in the lucid dream. So in layman's terms, say if you always dream about making a coffee, if, if you say if you always make a coffee in the morning, and you always go about it in exactly the same way, then the chances are that when you dream about making a coffee, you'll make it in the same way. The same can be said of your routine, of your commute to work, of the way you talk and everything really. Everything that you do in waking life is sort of mirrored in a lucid dream and you do pretty much the same stuff in the dream. And so a way that you can become lucid a lot more regularly is just to pay attention. Just pay attention to what you're doing, be critical, ask yourself questions and don't just walk around every day without really thinking. I know that it's easy to do this, especially if you have a boring commute or if you're maybe it's a long one hour long or more train journey or something, whatever it is. It can be easy to just fall into autopilot and just play a game on your phone and just not really pay attention. But by doing that, you lose your awareness. And as a result, obviously, you don't lose a dream, but also you don't really, you're not really paying attention and you miss things that maybe otherwise would have been great opportunities. This is why one of the main reasons why the law of attraction is so powerful because it's not some spiritual strange law it's just a very simple fact right if you focus on so i don't know how much you know about law of attraction if you focus on something that you want of course you're going to notice and pay attention to the things that would get you what you want it's just like if you buy something like say if you buy a car and it's a certain color say if you buy a blue audi for example suddenly from that point on you're going to then notice all of the other blue Audis driving around and it's not that there are more of them it's just that because you've now focused on that because you've brought one you're now paying attention and you subconsciously or consciously notice the other Audis they were always there but you just only notice them because you've been focusing on it and it's exactly the same thing with law of attraction if you want to earn more money if you want to whatever it is you want if you focus on it you'll notice the opportunities and so that's another great benefit of being self-aware, you know, regarding lucid dreaming, is that you'll also be aware of opportunities. You'll also be more focused and in tune with what's happening now, so you'll be able to spot those opportunities. You'll be able to overhear those conversations that maybe you would otherwise ignore, that you can actually jump in and say, oh, I know about this, and then 
right there, that's like a that's a business relationship formed, or that's a friendship, or you know, that's an opportunity that you would have otherwise missed if you weren't paying attention. So this is it, guys. This is why 95% of people don't lucid dream. It's also why 95% of people don't achieve the goals they want in life because they're just not paying enough attention. So get back in the, the zone, I guess you could say. Get back into your body and your awareness and just pay attention to what you're doing. Don't just go through life as a zombie because you'll miss so much.